Hey guys, what's happening? So, I finally broke down and bought this uh, Vista CNC pendant. Um, yeah, this thing wasn't cheap. It was like $280. Um, but everything I read online, this thing is supposed to be the, the most accurate of all the pendants. Um, I mean, I could have bought some of those uh, wireless ones for like $150, $120. Bucks. Um, but even at the reviews I've seen online, that Nordly guy, um, he did a review on this. A couple of people have done reviews on this thing. Um, whereas the one click, like when you click, so for me, I, I want to be able to go, go 0.1 millimeter per click. I mean, I want this thing to be accurate. Whereas my other one, the MV MPG, uh, wasn't accurate. So, all right, here it is. This is the box that came in. All right, here's, um, here's some instructions. Yeah, I'm going to be using this for Mach 3. Uh, the cool thing about this, this uh, pennant, you know, it's USB. Um, so it's not platform specific. Um, like the MV MPG was had like that DB15 connector. Um, so I think, I'm not sure if I have to flash the firmware or not. But I'm going to use this on Mach 3. But the cool thing is you can also run a Mach 4 and Linux CNC. Um, but because it's so expensive, <laughs> I think I'm just going to buy one. We'll see how much I like it. And then if I need, because I'm only using typically one machine at a time. So what I'll do is I'll just end up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to design a, a pull mount for it here. Like I used to have a, a cradle for the MV, MPG that I'd stick in here. I'm going to put like a cradle mount on each of these poles for the, each of the machines I have. And like when I need it for that machine, I'm just going to move it, unplug it the USB, move it over. So, um, yeah, these things are 280 bucks. Like the, the CNC controller costs as much as the actual, or I mean the CNC MPG um, costs as much as the controller, you know? So, hmm. But supposedly this is supposed to be the best one, though. Um... Mach 3, I think I might have to flash firmware. Download all, install the Mach 3 pennant plugin. The pennant is pre-installed Mach 3. Okay, so then I think if I had to go... Okay, yeah, exactly. So if you change between, like, uh, between Mach 3 and Mach 4, you have to flash the firmware. So if you guys are new, the firmware is actually what is the software that runs on the actual uh, machine that tells it what to do. Um... UCNC, Linux CNC. Alright, so cool. Um, so, really, it should definitely be a quick install. Just install the plugin. A scratch on the screen? I don't know. Okay, that wasn't. Well, I guess it was like a scratch on the LCD or something. Um, yeah, there's a scratch on the LCD. Whatever. Um, okay, so the reason why I got this more expensive one is I like these buttons right here. So you have X and A, X, Y, Z, A. So my round column mill is actually five axes. So I have five separate drivers in there. Um, yeah, because I have a fourth axis indexer. I don't know if I uploaded a video about this or not, but I actually uh, bought this all these indexers and offer up. But yeah, so I wanted to be able to mess with the five axis. That's why I got this right here. But the other thing too is the other the other ones. Um, the the cheaper ones have the twist knob if you want to change between the uh, the access. So I don't know what all this stuff is yet, but start, hold. That's pretty self-explanatory. Stop, rewind, spindle on and off. Zero. Go to Z. Go to X Y Z. Uh, coordinates X Y. Um, I'm not sure what these are yet. I mean, I'm guessing like feed rate, spindle percentage, and then you have your e stop here, and then I think this is. I'm not sure if that's a start. I think it's actually I've seen some other videos about the uh, not velocity motor, like the constant velocity mode versus like step mode or whatever. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have. Uh, I guess I'll plug this in and uh, go get another cup of coffee. <laughs> Still haven't fully woken up yet. And then tonight I'm going to design this cradle. Alright, got this going. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely the most accurate MPG I've seen, done so far. Got it working. So last night I designed this little uh, cradle, printed it out. 
So I gotta take the their mounts off right here. So it's gonna be pull them out over here. I think I already said that already. You know, I think one thing I might change is I don't like the fact that this thing doesn't have a spiral cord. So I might buy a USB spiral cord and solder one on there. Um, but that's a granular here. Oh, guess I'll have to go lower. <laughs> Can't get it in there. That's my uh, uh, Xbox controller in there. Right, let's try that again. At least you can see that I really don't script these videos. <laughs> All right. All right, cool. Yeah, I wish the thing had a spiral cord. Uh, all right, so let me show you the. Well, let me show you the uh, cool thing about this. The main reason why I got this was more accurate pulsing, whereas my NV MPG it didn't actually. Uh, you can see, move that in position. We can see it. So right now I have it. In, uh, step mode. So 0.1 millimeter step. So move 0.09. So it's pretty accurate up to about, I mean it's pretty accurate. See it seems like I lose one, like 0 0.01 every once in a while. So I mean I've only been playing with this thing for about 15 minutes. Then you have a constant velocity mode. So if I ever switch to different like Linux CNC or whatever permanently, then um, yeah, at least I'll have an MPG that I can move over, even to Mach 4, you know. I mean the usual stuff, A, B, this is actually going to be, uh, this is a 5-axis machine. I mean, that's my indexer, but I'm actually building a 5-axis Trunnion. Um, switch between the axis, feed rate, you know, I, I can adjust the stuff on the fly. I probably won't be adjusting the, the step rate, because it's really just easier for me to come over here and change on the screen, the touch screen. Um, but this is what I was hoping for, so when I'm up here and I'm zeroing stuff, that's my probe right there, but if I'm, let's say if I'm manually uh, eyeballing this stuff, you know, I can step in a lot closer with, with smaller steps and hopefully be accurate. Um, I don't know if I mean it was worth 285 bucks or whatever it cost. It was like 265 plus tax plus shipping. So I was a lot more accurate than the other ones. I don't know. And this thing was as expensive as my controller. So, besides the accurate step rate, another thing I've uh, noticed that I actually really like, and I actually didn't really even think about it when I bought it, you know, was in this mode right here, the uh, constant velocity and step mode, is I can actually go into it. You know, I can go into it, right? But then if I hold down the button, it's hard to do it with one hand, then I can go into step mode, you know, to dial it in, you know? So with one hand, I can sit there and move it over fast to get a position fast, and then go slow down to step mode to, to dial in the zero. All right, so um, pretty cool. So I'll put it down a link uh, down below. I've got my little cradle, and uh, so I'm gonna print out another one for my uh, CNC route over here for that pole mount. Then I'm gonna do one for if I run a room in the uh, lathe over here, and. Uh, like I said, it's, I mean, I don't I mean, like I said, I don't use enough of these machines often enough to have three different MPGs. Um, I mean, I, I'd rather spend the money on other things I need in here than the three MPGs. Um, all right, so upcoming videos, I'm going to be playing with the fourth axis, uh, figuring that whole thing out, uh, and building my five axis trunnion to kind of play with that. But, all right, guys, cool. Hope this video helps somebody. Pretty cool product. Uh, put a link down to put a link down below uh, where I bought on Amazon. Um, I actually bought it on Amazon because um, I could have bought it from their website too, um, or eBay. They sell my eBay. Same company sells on eBay, Amazon, and their website. But it was easier for me to track track the package from Amazon. So um, 
Yeah, because I bought some stuff here a day from a company, you know, and because it wasn't, like, through Amazon, they didn't seem to want to ship it as fast. So, um, yeah, but kind of Amazon kind of puts them, keeps them in, in check. So, all right, guys, cool, having fun.